Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Calculus 2012 for your response questions, and here's number two. So let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by the x-axis and the graphs y equals ln x, and then this is y equals 5 minus x. Find, uh, find the area of R, okay? So, um... Let's see. We got to find some of the bounds here. This is this should be one, and this should be uh, five, because when I plug x equals five, this is zero. I need to find this intersection point though. What is um, because what I'm going to have to do when I do the area is I'm going to add up the area for this function up to this point, right? But then it switches. The boundary switches. I don't want to do the area under this curve as a continuum. I want to do the area under this curve here. So I need to find this intersection point so I can set up my integrals. Okay, so this occurs when y equals ln x equals 5 minus x. And I guess I can't really, um, there's not an a easy analytical way to solve that. We could just solve that numerically. So that's where I'm going to have to pull out my calculator. And we're going to want to plot this. So we're going to say... Um, F equals ln x, and then G equals 5 minus x. And here we can find the intersection point. Intersection is 3 point, the intersect at x equals 3.693. Okay, the y value doesn't, doesn't matter in this case. Okay, so what I want to do then is the integral from 1 to 3.693 of ln of x and then I want to integrate from 3.693 to 5 of 5 minus x dx and this would be the total area right okay so let's do that numerically uh, you know it's not I guess it's not really hard to do I, I, I don't have to numerically do this integral um, but I'll just do that um, f from 1 to 3.693 plus the integral of g from 3.693 to 5. So I get this is total to be 2.986. That's part A. Part B, region R is the base of a solid. For the, each solid, the cross-sectional perpendicular to x-axis is a square, right? But do not evaluate an expression of one more integral because the volume of the solid. Okay, so each of these slivers is now a square. I know the height of the rectangle is just simply ln of x in this case, or it's whatever the function ln of x here. And so the area of that square is the side squared. Um, so ln of x squared, then times dx, which is the thickness, sort of the, the width of that thickness of that square. And then I want to add up all of them from 1 to 3.693. And then over here, I want to go from 3.693 to 5. And instead of ln of x, I'm going to do 5 minus x squared dx. Okay, so we're going to add those two. And like, and again, it's because the boundary, the curve changes there. So it said not to evaluate that integral, okay? The horizontal line y equals k divides r into two regions of equal area. Right, but do not solve an equation involving one or more integrals whose solution gives you the value of k. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky because uh, I, I need to know if k is to the left or to the right. So I kind of want to look at the areas of the two. I suspect k is over here somewhere, but it's always good to check. And so when I'm the way I'm going to check it is I'm going to do the, the area. I'm going to... This 2.896, I'm going to split it into, like, I'm going to do the area of this region, area of this region, just see which one is bigger. So F goes from 1 to 3.693. Okay, so this area here is 2.1, which means, like, the remaining 0.8 comes from here. So, like, this area is only, like, 0.8. So that means the, the line that divides it has to be here, and that's important when we set up the integral. This is K right here. Okay. So what I want to find is I want to do the integral from 1 to k ln of x squared dx. 
uh, there's a few ways you could do that. I could just say this area is equal to half of this. So that's one way I could do it. So what's 2.896 divided by 2? That might be the easiest way to do it. Just do this integral like that. There's like, other ways. You could have set this equal to the integral from there to there. But I think like this is probably the most direct way with k instead of like doing the area from here from here to here. Because that would be like two integrals. I could do from there to there and then there to there. Okay. So yeah, let's look at the solutions and see how we did. Um, or this, which is 2.896. So you could have done the y direction or you do it in the x direction. I did in the x direction. The volume is A. How come they didn't use A? A is 3.69344. Okay, so all right. Um, and then this, oh, y equals, not x equals. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's do that. So I, I misread that. I don't know why I thought this was y equals. This is, x, this is I did x equals k. I got to divide it this way. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go ahead and finish it out. Um, you know, we'll just say I, I did get that wrong, but, um, for completeness, I do want to show you how you do the, um, integral in the y direction because I think that's important, yeah, especially in this problem. Okay, so say I want to do it in the y direction, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my slices in the y direction, so this is y equals k. So that means each slice of area that I'm gonna do, instead of doing these vertical strips, I'm gonna, and let me switch colors, uh, I'm gonna switch it to uh, slices that move horizontally instead, okay? So the thickness of the slice is dy, Okay, and then um, I always do the rightmost point, though, though the length of this is the rightmost point minus the leftmost point. That would be sort of like, because because each function, the x value, is telling you how far it is away from the origin. So I'm going to do this value, not from the origin, but from the y-axis. I'm going to do that distance minus that distance, and that'll give me this distance. So it's equal, so the length is equal to the x value here minus the x value here. What is the x value here? Is the x value here is uh, 5 minus y. What's the x value here? The x value here, if I rearrange this, x equals e to the y. So the x value here is equal to e to the y. And so that means my, 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 the area of just that one slice is, e to the, is um, 5 minus y minus e to the y dy. And then I want to integrate from 0 to k. And I want that to be this half, which is 1.448. Okay. And so let's see if that looks right now that we've done it. Uh, 0 to k equals 1 half of that. Yep, 5 minus y minus e to the y. Okay, so that's kind of the setup for how you do it in the y direction. You have to convert everything into y because we you only know how to integrate in one variable. So... Um, Putting everything in terms of why makes sense in this case. So uh, I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, I'll see you in the next one when we continue on and do the other free response questions. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.